Yo, yo, what's going on, everyone? Just waiting for our guests from Gated to show up. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hey, hey. Hey everyone who just joined, just waiting for our guests to show up and then we'll go ahead and get started. And if you're a Genesis holder, if you haven't checked out the Discord announcements, uh, we actually posted in there about Gated uh, and the tool that they have. Um, so you can check it out there to find out what all of our Genesis holders get. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to be discussing during this call uh, once our gated community joins us. Um, but it's a great tool. Uh, it helps you stay up to date with all of your communities. Um, we are able to get access for all of our holders. So another perk coming to our Genesis holders. Um, and I'm excited to kind of talk more about it. So just give us another minute or so. I'm going to ping them to make sure they are aware of the space starting Let's see, Chaz, are you there? What's going on, Dozy Rose? I see you there. <laughs> I see you. Is it Imran? I see you down there too. So hopefully we'll get started here in another minute. I just uh, pinged them. So I'm, they pinged me this morning say they're going to be here so hopefully hoping we'll get them here pretty soon um, but if you are a member of our discord and a genesis holder you can check out our announcements to learn a little bit more about uh, gated uh, it's basically it's a way for you to kind of keep up with all of your different uh, communities that you have it's a one email oh here we go um, that will uh, kind of um, accumulate all of your important messages from your discords and put it in a nice email for you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that now. Hey. Um, hey, I'm trying to get my audio to work. Give me one second. Okay. All right, guys, it's Chandra from the Gated team. How's it going? Hey, Chandra, how's it going for you? It's uh, going well Pretty for good. me. Uh, excited to be here. Excited to talk about what Gated is. Um, hopefully you can give your members um, a little bit more background, all the things. So, Awesome. Yeah, no, we're, we're excited to have you here. I was just kind of going through. We, 
we announced Gated within our Discord already, so I was just kind of giving them a quick breakdown of it. But definitely love to have you here to kind of give them a more in-depth breakdown of all the exciting things they can do with Gated, um, as well as answer any questions that they might have. Um, so uh, the way I like to start off these uh, AMAs is just kind of doing a quick uh, rundown of like who you are, how you got into Web3, you know, what you did before Web3. So let's kind of start there. Why don't you just give us a quick uh, rundown of, um, you know, a personal intro. So um, I got into Web3 when it wasn't called Web3 back in 2017 uh, when the ICOs and, or the ICOs, or however you pronounce it, um, was just like was going big. And so I was actually a tech investment banker then. And so we ended up doing a lot of research on crypto and the usage, uh, the u- utilization of crypto and how that is going to transform our lives. Uh, and that led up to, I think, like December of 2017. And then there was a crash right after. And so all my IBD folks kind of um, abandoned crypto at that point. We went back to web, what is now called Web2. Um, and then back in this, so I've always kind of had, you know, my Coinbase account, a couple my finance account, a couple of other things that were just kind of working in the background. Um, and then in maybe November, December of last year, um, I, I didn't need, so everybody was on Clubhouse talking about NFTs. Like I completely missed the NFT conversation on Clubhouse, but because I had that kind of that background of an interest in crypto, I always knew that it was a thing. Um, I... Uh, started hearing about CPG Club on Twitter. And like I woke up one day, checked Twitter, and saw that people were talking about uh, Crypto Package Goods or CPG Club, it, it, which is a token gated community of about 250, I believe, folks. Um, and so I saw that, I saw the mint, and I reached out to Harold, who was the co founder, who was one of the co founders of um, Black At and Gated. And I said, well, What is this? And he worked his magic um, and ended up getting me a token. Uh, and so from there, I was just thrown into Crypto Package Goods, which is more of an all alpha community. Um, and they were just talking about all types of things that I really had no idea about. Um, and so I spent my time trying to learn. And that was kind of the first time that I was really in a chat that moved at that speed. Um, and so I firsthand realized that I just couldn't keep up. Like I just did not have the ability or like the muscle to be able to keep up with um, all of the messages that were coming through from so many people. Um, Audrey ended up joining, who was the the other co-founder of Black At and um, Gated, and I'll get to Gated in a little bit, but Audrey, uh, Harold, and I ended up in crypto packaged goods. Like I said, the messages were going very fast. Um, And so Audrey created a bot or she created a bot, but she also created an MVP where you know, for those people that couldn't check the messages all day, couldn't be in Telegram all day, because that's the question that I kept asking myself, like, how are these people in Telegram all day? Don't they have work to do? Um, so she created a um, just like a very quick code base that would allow the top mess the top messages or the the pinned messages to be sent via email. Um, so that was something she did in CPG, but outside of CPG. Uh, we went to Audrey Harold and I ended up going to Art Basel. That's where we kind of got the idea for Black Ad. And so Black Ad is one of the first uh, black or uh, black only token gated communities. Uh, and so, you know, we started that in February of this year. And she brought back, uh, she, she, Audrey brought to us, what if we turned gated into an actual product? Um, black Ad community is moving really fast. Uh, There were other communities that we were all in that were just moving really quickly. So Audrey brought to us, once we started Black At, we had about 200 or so members of builders, entrepreneurs, creatives. Um, She said, what if we turned that into an actual product? It wasn't called Gated then. It it was called Audrey's Emails, I think, at that that time. Are you getting Audrey's Emails? That's what we used to ask ourselves. Uh, We used to ask ourselves all the time. Um, And so we decided to turn Gated into an actual product. And so we launched Gated June of this year. Um, we're in communities like Hugs and Aku um, and, and some other, or CPG obviously, and Pop it uses us as well. Um, and basically we're, we're doing exactly like you mentioned. We are making it really easy for you to get the 
uh, top messages that are um, being sent in your in your different Discord and Telegram. So we're both on Discord and Telegram. And uh, what we what we recently launched is you can also uh, you're also receiving the most engaged messages. So most recently we launched a feature that will allow you to, it doesn't have to be pinned because obviously that is a practice and a habit that needs to be formed in some communities. Um, but now it's the most engaged, or now it's also the most engaged messages. So depending on how many uh, emoji reactions your messages will get, um, there's a threshold in which that will also be sent to you. And on top of that, we also know that Twitter is such a huge communication tool for a lot of the, the programs and um, uh, communities. So now you're also able to get, um, and you can, to you can toggle this on or off. You're also able to get um, different, or, or the most recent uh, twi tweets that you get uh, in email form. And so what's happening is we're pulling these, and you can, re you can get this information in two ways. We are pulling it to give you an email every 24 hours. And then we're also allowing you to go to the gated app. Um, it's an it's a web app, uh, and you can you have a lot more um, um, control over the types of the community or the different subchats that you're in, um, whether you want to receive the tweets or not. There's there's a lot more control once you go to the app. But you can see the messages in the app, and you'll get your email once a day. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the story of gated and my story into web three. Love it. Yeah. Uh, definitely want to touch back a, a little bit more on, um, you know, you mentioned you were in web two as well. Just kind of curious, uh, you know, what were you doing before you joined, uh, you know, this team with Audrey and, and Harold, uh, what were you doing in web two? So I have like a very storied, um, <laughs> a very storied intro into tech. I used to be, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a creative at heart. Used to be a, crea a creative. I was a dancer for a really long time, um, traveled the world, did all types of things. And then um, ended up working in New York. I just needed a job. So I ended up working in HR. And I and I you know I went from a very small architecture firm to AIG to an investment bank, um, and so I was doing investment banking HR work, and then was like, mm, this is not it. I really want to get into tech. I really want to get into VC, uh, and like strong armed the recruiters to put me into the uh, um, the uh, investment banking program, and so I, I and then I had to strong arm my way into tech investment banking. So prior to the the step. Prior to uh, the step, prior to the, the step before creating Black App, I was a tech investment banker, and that's where I really learned about the tech industry, how they raised money, how they talked about their businesses, um, how they measured success, like what an actual tech company was, um, and then and then how to uh, position that for investors. Uh, but what I what I realized in doing that was that there's so much information that wasn't being uh, siphoned. Or, or funneled into the black community. And so I started TBC Capital, which was a one day accelerator for black founders that turned into me using my FP&A skills. Um, Cause when I was in HR, I was only really doing, I was working mainly with FP&A and doing a lot of reporting. Um, and so I was doing, I took that, I took my corporate finance skills that I learned, um, my accounting skills that I learned in banking um, and turned that into an on-demand CFO service. So. I went from HR to investment banking to on-demand CFO and I work with a lot. So that's what I do in my day job, I guess. Um, and so I work with um, founders and, and, and provide a full financial services stack to a lot of companies that are in the consumer space and now moving into um, now moving into more of the Web3. So some of my clients are now um, have Web3 arms or are totally Web3 based. Um, and uh, that, you know, that's kind of how I, I uh, career wise got into Web3. But like I mentioned before, um, thinking about, you know, and it's the same kind of how I started TBC, like thinking about how do we make these opportunities available to Black folks? Like, how do we make it available to the people that um, are forgot about when building new technology? or building technology in general. Uh, and so, you know, when I started TBC, it was the same thing. When we started Black At, it was the same thing. We don't want to be left behind. Um, and so, you know, thinking about 
where we are now, which is building products, we're really trying to, you know, if we create culture, why not create the infrastructure that the cult- culture lives on? Uh, and so gated is, is a way in which we see ourselves doing that. Um, and, and, and we have a ton of other things that we have in the pipeline um, that will be doing the same thing of just making sure that we're creating the infrastructure and not just the culture. Yeah, I love to hear that. And this is why I always ask everyone who we bring on here, uh, you know, their background, because, you know, there's everyone's got a unique background. You know, you start you were a dancer. You worked in HR. You were a bacon investor, you know, and, and you're working in Web3. I was a technical recruiter. I was able to kind of make that transition over to Web3 as well. Um, so I, I just like to show everyone that it's there is no like specific background that you need to get a job in Web3. Um, anyone can do it. Anyone with any background can come in here and find something that they're good at and, and use their skills to, to make that transition Web3. You also miss, mentioned, Chandra, that you're, you're still working in your, your day job, you know, so you still have your day job and you're working in Web3 at the same time. So there is a way if you're looking to, to get a job in Web3 where you can kind of do both. I did that for a while until I recently left my Web2 job a couple of weeks ago, um, but I was doing it for the first five, six months that we were working on this project. So there's a lot, lots of ways if you're interested in getting jobs in Web3 um, and, you know, any background uh, has the skills that it takes to find a job here um i do want to ask uh you know what was uh what are some of the skills that you think it requires to to work in web3 like what are some of those key skills that you've picked up along your way that have made you kind of successful in in web3 it's really interesting because i don't have them yet um i think and then also as as an fyi uh, audrey's in the audience i do want to bring her up um, and Harold too, but I don't know if he can talk. Um, but I would love to bring Audrey up, who is the co-founder and the mastermind behind the tech um, and everything we're doing with Gated. Uh, so the skills that I think that are required to work in Web3, I'm still learning. Like I'm not there yet at all. I was listening to, uh, listening to Keith Grossman talk the other day. And Keith Grossman is the CEO, president of Time um, uh, Magazine. And they, if, if you guys don't know, they have done a masterful job of bringing this, their web two, even web one, really, um, community and company into web three. They've done a, a ton of, of drops. They've raised money um, for different, um, different causes, all within, on the blockchain, all within web three. And he, he does a really good job. He's done a really good job of reimagining what time could be uh, within the web three space. Um, And one of the things that he was talking about was being able to understand that it's no longer top down. Um, And and, and if that's what you imagine working in Web3 to be or leading in Web3 to be, then you're going to um, be realize very soon that that is no longer the way. Uh, And like to be a thousand percent transparent, I am a natural born leader to the point where like I sometimes think that like my thoughts or the way that I believe things should go should be the way that I, the way that it should go because I am a leader. And so one of the things that I think people need to realize in Web3, um, even if you're, if, even if you're not leading a team, but you're just in Web3 in general, is that it's, it's, it's a flatter organization. It's a more collaborative organization. And so there are some uh, pieces of humble pie that I am eating right now. Um, but I think if you're thinking about what Web3 is and the way in which um, it will continue to grow and, and, and how people will work together in the future, it won't be top down. It will be, uh, I don't even know if it's going to be bottoms up. It's just going to be flat. Uh, and there will always be people that are organizing the masses. But uh, Web3 in general, I think, is a, is a different animal in which people have to kind of step outside of themselves uh, and reimagine what leadership and collaboration look like. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. Collaboration uh, is is huge in Web3. I always preach that it's like cross-team collaboration. You're working with so many different partners as well as your team. You have like a collaboration manager, you know, you have a... Uh, you know, community manager, social media specialist, mods, everyone has to kind of work together to make sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, So that's a big skill that's required here. 
Um, you also mentioned um, earlier that, you know, everything's moving fast. So that's another thing. It's just being able to kind of work in those fast paced environments because Web3 moves incredibly fast. I thought Web2 moved fast before I moved to Web3 and it moves like 10 times faster, to be honest. So having those skills to, to just be able to kind of change gears at any given time is, is key for, for this space as well. As well. Um, so I did bring Audrey up. How's it going, Audrey? Hi, everybody. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to join. Um, do you want to give us a quick uh, rundown of like who you are and what you do for uh, Gated? Yeah, uh, awesome. So I am the developer for um, Gated. I started, okay, so I initially started my career as an, a teacher, as an educator. I was an educator for, you know, 15 years. And then I actually learned to code about five years ago when I wanted to build some edtech software that I thought was missing in the education space. So I started off with data science, working in AI, using Python, and it kind of just blossom from there to the point about a year and a half well a year ago a year and a half ago now i started doing solidity building smart contracts and trying to dive into the, dive into the blockchain from that site and i guess i've been full-time dgen for about a year actually september will be an exactly a year since i kind of went full-time into web3 and yeah, like what you were asking Chandra about, like the skills that's needed when making the transition from Web 2 to Web 3, I really felt that from a developer standpoint. And I would say there's two things that really serve me well. The first thing is that, you know, like there when you it's a paradigm shift when you move to web three where it's like there's no one to ask permission i think a lot of people who are doing stuff in web three just do it like they don't ask for someone to let them do it or when you go into a DAO, it's not kind of like you're assigned a task. You just kind of have to get into a community, figure out where you can be helpful and just like do it. And that's really an awesome thing about Web3. You don't have to ask permission. You don't have to necessarily have all of the right experience. You, you just have to do it and prove that you can do it by actually just doing it. So I love that. And then the second thing is like, I really had to get comfortable with being the first because we always say like, oh, Web3, you're so, it's so new, we're so early. But like literally I would be building, um, you know, like some code or some sort of function for a smart contract. And I would be searching for hours and hours like to find an example or to go through some sort of documentation because that's normally what you do when you're a developer, you find documentation. And then it's like, sometimes it, I realize like, wait, there, there is no documentation. Like no one has done this before. I need to figure this shit out on my own or stuff out on my own. So I think, I, yeah, be comfortable with being the first or potentially being the first and like just this paradigm shift of like not asking for permission and just doing it, building it if you see a need is what I, is what I would say. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Dealing with ambiguity. So that's one of the leadership principles at Amazon that I had to kind of live by for a while. Um, but that that's another thing is it's this place is evolving so quickly and, you know, you kind of have to, to evolve with it. Otherwise, you're going to fade into the, you know, history like <laughs> within a month. So uh, being able to kind of uh, evolve and, and switch gears is very, very important for this space. Um, so do want to reset the room real quick. Just remind everyone we're here with the founders of, of Gated and we're, we're talking about that service. Um, we're going to jump into it more now to kind of find out a little bit more about um what gated is and, and some of the the things that you can do with it um so with that said let's let's kind of jump into that why don't we uh you know either chandra or audrey um whoever would like to kind of give a quick rundown of what gated exactly is Audrey, you want to take it uh sure i can <clears throat> so in an in a gated like in its essence now and it's always evolving and we're always thinking of how we can like provide better alpha and more content for web3 communities but right now what it is is if you're in a token gated community either on telegram or discord it allows us it allows the community owners to select the most relevant information um, for the communities and then it creates a digest of that on our website and that digest is um um, emailed every uh, day. It's a daily digest. So it's 
like just making sure it's a summary, it's a quick uh, recap of the most important information. And it's done in a way that's just very streamlined for the community owners um, or managers. So it's not like an additional task they have to do or something where they need to kind of like write up um, notes, etc. It's just they put in a little, uh, they either pin it on Telegram or they add a, a little emoji reaction to whatever messages that are coming through tel Discord. And then we have a bot that pulls all of that information, compiles it, and then sends it to the members. In addition to that, you know, we're managing, you know, activity, giving analytics to um, the uh, Discord um, community owners so that they can get a better understanding of their community, while also allowing the members to have that alpha quick and easy and not feeling overwhelmed if they miss a couple of days in the Discord. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think we all kind of need that, especially if you look at your discords and you have like hundreds of them. It, it's really hard to keep up with everything. So this is a great product, I think, for, for almost everyone who just kind of wants to stay up to date with all of their communities. Um, so kind of diving a little bit deeper into that, how many communities can you add to your, your daily email? Because, uh, you know, basically Gated is, is compiling all of these important messages and putting it into a daily email. How uh, often is that sent and uh, how many different communities uh, can you have? You can't, it's sent every 24 hours and I'll let Audrey is like the, the brain. So I'll let her talk. I won't jump into all of these questions, but you can, it's sent every 24 hours. So if you um, signed up at 2 a.m. like I did, <laughs> then you will receive your messages uh, at 2 a.m. Um, we're building more functionality though, for you to be able to choose when you'd like to receive your emails. That's not available yet, but it is coming. It's, it is on the roadmap. Um, and then you can add up to as many communities that you are a part of. So I'm a part of, I don't think, maybe, I think maybe four or five communities that I think maybe four or five of these communities that use Gated. Um, and so I receive an email for each of those communities that comes to me um, at different times of the day, obviously, depending on when I signed up. So it's as many communities that are currently using Gated, you can use Gated as well. Perfect. Um, so if your community is not using Gated, are you able to uh, add them to that list? <clears throat> so, so the community that you want to kind of get added to that email thread, do they have to be a part of the Gated community uh, in order to be added? Um, yeah, so if, if you have a community and you want them to be part of Gated, you need to just like tell them to contact us so we can onboard them. But basically because uh, the community owner has to like um, and, you know, set up an, a bot on, on their Discord that allows us access to their messages. So there is some sort of onboarding that we have to do with the communities. Um, but once that's on, then you there's a, a unique link for each community. So like Techie Club is app.itsgated.com slash Techie Club. So you can share that link. And then whoever, if they're onboarded and the bot is in the Discord, then you'll be able to get the messages. Gotcha. Um, and then I do have some uh, a few more questions, but I do want to open it up to the audience as well. Uh, if you have any questions for, for Gated, uh, definitely feel free to raise your hand and I'll bring you up as a speaker. Um, but I also want to ask, um, so what are some of the other features um, a, a part of Gated that they'll receive other than the email? Should we give them some alpha, Audrey? I don't know. I think if we if we give too much, then Harold will be angry. So we 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 have to be we have to be strategic. <laughs> but um, you know, there is a lot of things on the roadmap, and we look at it as like how can we provide utility and value to um, the community owners, so like they can better understand when messages are being sent, and like when is what are their most active channels and what are the most active times and days of the channels. So there's a lot of analytics that we're putting in to help community owner, community managers better understand what's happening at the health of their community. But for the community member, there's a lot of other things that we're doing where, you know, we're looking at becoming like a uh, web three alternative to a sub stack where you can get just like general newsletters that are more designed 
We're looking at um, there being additional alpha that you can receive right now. You're able to see like Twitter feeds, but we're trying to incorporate you know, um, information about the health of your NFT token. So there might be analytics for the communities that you're in, as well as ways to discover new communities that, you know, um, might you might interest you based on the communities that you already own. So there's a there's a big roadmap that we have where we're trying to say, how can we just the whole thing is like, how can we make it a, a easier um way for mem- for web3 dgens to get information to get alpha to feel connected to their communities without them having to be in a million channels at once on discord and telegram yeah yeah great that, that was going to be my next question was going to be if if you could share any exciting alpha uh with, with the audience but uh not sure if you if you want to or if you did share a little bit there um you know, if you wanted to share any more, you can definitely do that as well. Uh, but no pressure there either. I mean, I'll, I'll say this. Audrey, I don't know what you were going to share, but I, I will say a couple of things that we're also doing. Um, we, you know, everything, I think everybody's trying to figure out how do we onboard more people into Web3? How do we get more non degens into Web3? And so, you know, we are working on a couple of ways that will allow content creators to do just that, um, to bring their audience members into Web3. Um, and so, like, you know, you never know who's going to pop up using Gated and how they will use Gated. Uh, but again, the, the way that um, we look at this is that the more communities and the more content creators uh, that are on Gated, the more benefit you have to using some of the other features that Audrey just mentioned, um, some things that she didn't mention are sentiment analysis um, when thinking about different communities that you're not a part of um, and, and just other ways of aggregating information. I think there are, are currently communities that are trying to do that, but they're using um, data that they're receiving, I don't know, f- w- from, from the actual uh, community manager or the actual um, creator. Uh, and we're looking at how do we how do we aggregate information across communities? What data can we pull um, over from from a high level um, that will allow you to make smarter decisions or to, to even just be um, educated on different different communities and, and drops and things that are happening within Web three that are really hard to uh, get that information now. So not specific alpha. Um, but uh, very, um, very interesting ways on how to get data and information. And on top of that, um, we're working with some really large, to, like this is out for the nobody, I don't think anybody knows outside of, of Black App, um, but we're working with some really, really large brands who are trying to find the, the through or the, the um, how do they get their community, how do they get their customers? They're not even communities at this point. How do they get their customers into Web3? And so some really, really large brands we have calls with uh, next week. Um, some are in the in the art space. Some are in the communi- the consumer product space, like things that you see every day and use every day um, and, and working with them on interesting ways on getting into Web3. So you never know what's happening, but that's a little bit of alpha. I can't give you too much on like the type of the type of companies. But when I say like they're some of the largest companies like in the world, I'm, I'm not kidding. Hey, let's go. That's super exciting. Uh, where where can everyone kind of keep up to date with this? Is it best to follow you on, on Twitter? Um, is that the best way to kind of keep up to date with everything going on with Gated? I would say for sure Twitter. Um, there's a, if you have a community or if you're a content creator or a creator in general that is thinking about joining um, or creating some type of token gated uh, community and or uh, token gated content you can go to tokengated.com uh, sorry tokengated.co and get your information or uh, fill out a form there and um, we'll reach out to you about getting you set up there um, and you can also email us at hello at tokengated.co um, and we can start conversations that way um, but for sure follow us on twitter we're always talking about i think we posted a tweet today about and I'm gonna I'm gonna pin that in a second, but we posted a tweet today about some of the testimonials that we got. Um, we'd love to highlight our 
the people that we work with and the people that are using the, the product. So definitely follow us on Twitter for sure. Awesome. Yeah, definitely follow them on Twitter. Uh, the website's there as well, uh, tokengated.co. Um, and then you can find the email, I'm sure, on the, the website as well. Um, so definitely make sure you do that uh, to stay up to date with everything uh, that's going on. I'm excited to see these these big partnerships coming over the next few weeks to, to months. So really excited to see what's going on there. Um, you know, I do want to open it up to the floor again to see if there's any questions that anyone wants to ask. You know, you can ask them any questions about, you know, Black Ad, uh, you know, token gated, whatever you want. Maybe even want to ask some questions about their transition from Web 2 to Web 3. Uh, definitely want to open up the floor to, to everyone to, to ask any type of question you have. Um, let's see. I will give it another 30 seconds or so. Um, but I also want to ask, is there anything else that you kind of want to share with our community uh, about token gated or even black at whatever you want to share? Um, Audrey, I will let you speak about gated specifically, but I will say for black at um, that if you are black and you are in Web3 or if you know some black folks and you want to gift them a token, feel free to um, join us over at Black App. We're building all types of things. Gated is just the first product. There's so many things and we need all the skills and all the people. Um, and we're, we're, we're talking all types of Web3 stuff and we're being hella Black at the same time. So definitely join us over at Black App. You can go to blackapp.io, black, the word, at, A-T, dot I-O, um, to learn more about that. And then Audrey, what do we want to tell them about Gated other than sign up? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, first off, thank you, Takey Club, for like supporting us. And you, uh, we're so excited to see all of the kind of innovative things you're doing with your Discord community. And I, I, we, I never told you like the mint day where you all um, signed up. Your Discord was like going so crazy that it actually like knocked the bot offline for a bit. And I was like, oh my gosh, like Techie Club is like really <laughs> pushing the limits of our uh, gated bot. So I congratulations on your mint and thank you for being, uh, you know, a gated community. And yeah, I, I just feel, you know, we're pushing, we're trying to develop in innovative, interesting things for the Web3 space. We appreciate any support, all the support, and just like watch this space, follow us. And we're definitely shipping a lot of um, features and code, and we want to build something that will be helpful for Web3, the Web Web3 communities and community members. So thanks for su the support. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, let's see. Last chance for questions from the audience. Let me actually check my Discord because I do get some Discord messages there as well. So let me just double check that. Um, but once again, if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. We'll bring you up. Um, if you're in the Discord, you can type in a message there as well. I'll definitely uh, read it off if there's anything. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Not seeing any questions. Yep, yep. No questions here in the Discord, at least from what I can tell. But, uh, oh, did you want to say something, Chandra? No, I was just going to say that means that, that the people in the audience are using it and love it. That's what that means. No questions. <laughs> yeah. That means they're, it's, it's simple, easy to use. UX is amazing. All of that. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. You know, if there's no questions, that means everyone understood exactly what you were sharing and what you have to, to offer. So that's also great, too. Um, but uh, yeah, so I honestly, I, I just want to thank, uh, thank our, um, you know, our uh, speakers here. We've got Chandra and Audrey um, from Black At, who uh, created Gated. I um, want to thank the two of you for joining. I know Harold's in the audience there. He's unable to speak, but he's also the third member of this team. So I want to give a big shout out to, to him as well. Uh, also want to give a shout out to all of our community members, Genesis holders, uh, even just uh, listeners who are here for the first time. want to thank you all for tuning in and listening. Um, we do like to share, uh, you know, a lot of uh, 
you know, different services that we think are very helpful for uh, our community members, as well as just the overall uh, community for, for um, Web3 as well. So we do like to have these AMA spaces as often as we can, um, you know, with projects that we think are doing great things. So thank you, everyone, for, for tuning in. If you do have any other questions, uh, definitely feel free to, to ping within our Discord. You can also reach out to TokenGated directly um, through their email uh, if you have some questions or if you want to find out how you can join them. Um, but once again, thank you, everyone, for, for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.